Our main objective today is to take you through, in practice, you doing the what we went through in our briefing yes last week. So uh, we're making this video for the NMX website. My name is Mikey. What's your name? Suki. Trevor. Frank. Claire. Hi. Laurie. I'm Darren. I'm Lauren. And I'm Ben. My name is Katyushka Borges. Just first of all, tell us. Uh, um, you may maybe sort of why you came down here today. I mean, so if someone wants to sort of start off with that question. Yeah, I've um, done web development before, um, done quite a lot of PHP. I've recently found Drupal and started using it, but found that I spend hours messing around with configuration screens trying to get it to do what I want. And so I've come down to basically try and get a bit of an understanding of how the system works. We're starting up a new venture and we want to, um, Ben and I, and we want to use Drupal as a means of um, allowing remote working between people that we work with on different kinds of projects um, and also allowing access to different types of information to different people. Um, I came here to uh, actually get some hands-on work done on a project which I'm going to do, which is uh, which I'm doing for an organisation that I coordinate, which is the London Cycling Campaign Group in Hackney. I'm part designer and part IT support uh, consultant and quite a few of my clients are going to want some form of CMS uh, sometime in the future. I'm here because um, I'm very interested in using Drupal and learning to, to how to do my own website and to be able to have a content management system that I can update any time and be able to allow other people to to add to the site and contribute and create some kind of um, interested interaction with users. Uh, inside publishing options is an option for promoted to front page. If you tick that and save it, then you can go back to your front page and the page will now appear in your listing of articles on your front page. And what do you think Drupal can do for you? I think it will speed up um, my development of websites. So I can basically build sites by plugging together all these pre-built modules without having to build it all myself. The two projects that just I'd like to sketch out from these workshops, um, one's a photojournalist, wants to put up his stories with pictures. Um, so that would be very simple. Another is a collective of filmmakers. Um, and I want something where um, the four of them will have an individual kind of pages saying you know, individually what they've been up to and that will aggregate into what the whole collective is about as well. In the module section there's a, there's a group of modules you can enable. Um, you want to enable the content module and pretty much let's just turn on everything in that field for fun in that section. Well I came up with the idea um, during my masters and our idea was to um, create an open forum where um, students and tutors and freelancers of design who kind of focus with a focus on sustainable design could submit their ideas or their concepts or their design and for feedback and for criticism in real time. There's two websites actually that I'm building. Uh, one about uh, lovers like us to play the love game and have a community of people that could get advice on love and relationship while they get their relationships better and with fun. And the other one is uh, for kind of corporate, it's called Empower Factor. It's about also coaching, mentoring, and training, and, and, and psychological profiling, like criminal minds, but corporate minds. Go to publishing options. Ah. Mm. All right, actually, that's exactly so what I was trying to get people to do. Page. Yeah, all right, well, if you pr promote the front page, it means it'll display on the front page. Right. If it's not, it won't appear. I want to see if that happens to everybody, if that's the case. Actually, that's exactly what I was trying to show you how it worked. This is my first Drupal web workshop, and um, I'm just exploring it, really, and uh, seeing what I can do with it, how it, I can use it. And so far, quite smoothly, yeah. It's been incredibly straightforward, and I was personally very scared that things would be pitched in a way that I would not be able to keep up. So it's been really, and there seems to be a facility. It's easier than I imagined it would be. And one of the things is that I'm going through, a pro we're going through a process at the moment of deciding who we're going to get help 
to help us do this kind of stuff. Presentation of a lot of different levels here, which is quite impressive. The workshop has been fantastic. I'm really excited to be here. I'm very happy, and I wish that this really continue because um, I think people here are very kind of committed to be able to use Drupal to to create websites that are not only social networks but also kind of community based where people can add content and manage the content and the flexibility is so important that we are here all creating and supporting one another. It's easier than I imagined it would be and one of the things is that I'm going through, we're going through a process at the moment of deciding who we're going to get help to help us do this kind of stuff and after this I'm beginning to think maybe we should just go and find out more and do it on our own. What is your feeling as you go away into the night? I'm looking forward to next week, of course. It was really useful to have the uh, like experts there, and you could just call over any time. So it was quite nice that it was reasonably loosely structured, and that you had two people there, you know, who who were on top of uh, the thing. So it wasn't just a teacher and a class type of thing. You know, it was, it was good in that respect. We were able to, you know, get get exactly what we needed. It was really inspiring, wonderful workshop. Re really learned an awful lot and I'm definitely coming back next week.